Assalamu alaikum my friend. I have a message to all my Ishmaelite brothers. La ilaha illallah Muhammadan Rasulullah. Assalamu alaikum. Now, we're going to go to Genesis 21:13. We're going to see another anti-Semitic attack on Ishmael, the seed of Ishmael. What, Masoretic? Read or? from the Samaritan first. Okay. And also the son of this, and this is strong, this made, will I make a, and then great, it's uh, put in bold, great nation. So this is bold, great is bolded, nation, because he is your descendant. Now, I want you to read it from the Masoretic text, Summer. And also of the son of the bondwoman, will I make a nation, because he is, I see. Well, hold on now. We're going to see the difference here. Samaritan says, son of this may, and the word great shows up. I'm going to read from the Masoretic text slowly so we can see it. So... And also, the son of a bondwoman will I make a nation because he is thy seed. Now, bond means purchased. There's some type of a transaction. It's Seems the bonded. Seems like a negative, negative There's thought a process. Note. On her. Um, of course, we see that's not true because, because in order for Hagar to be a wife of our patriarch Abraham, she must follow the halakha, the commandments of Hashem, and she is called a wife. From there, we're going to go to Genesis 25 16. One page over. Excellent. These Excellent. are the sons of Yishmael, and these are the names by their yards and by their castles, 12 chiefs according to their tribes. And these are the years of the life of Yishmael, 137 years, and he breathed his last and died and was gathered to his people. Wow. 12 tribes. 12 tribes of Ishmael. So this Ishmael, back then, when they give you a name, is because you continued on your genealogy with that tribe. We're going to talk about this later on. But I have a question. Could Ishmael's descendants become lost in the Crusades? That's a question I'd like to answer sometime. We can talk about this um, later. and We're going to find out and we'll, sh we'll let you know. In Isaiah 60, 1 through 7, a prophecy about a prophet bringing a light of Hashem to the world. This holy prophet or holy man would appear in a time of darkness, filling the world and covering the earth. He would appear to eliminate the darkness and spread the light of Hashem and his praises. In Isaiah 60 verse 7, we know plainly as about Kadar, where its flocks and tribes would be gathered together. We go to also book of Jasher, Hayashar. Chapter 25, verse 16, which is also found in Bereshit, Genesis chapter 25, verse 13. Also, 1 Chronicles 1, 29, and it says, And Riba bare unto Ishmael, Nabioth, Kedar, and Abdil, and so on. All the flocks of Kedar is referring to tribes of Ishmael which may refer to also Muhammad. I also discovered in Isaiah, Ishiyahu, chapter 60, verse 7, All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. Rams of Nabioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance of Hashem's altar, and he will glorify the house of of his glory. When he says, and I will glorify the house of my glory, it's referring to, it could only be Kaaba. In Mecca, the sacred house the, for the glory of Elohim that Avraham built with Ishmael. We also discussed uh, Song of Solomon, chapter 5, verse 16. Yes, the name Muhammad does show up. It does say Muhammadim, but the name Muhammad is very plainly in the text. I finished this.
with Song of Solomon, chapter 1, verse 5. I am black but calmly, O ye daughters of Jerusalem, as the tents of Kedar, as the curtains of Solomon. Shalom. <laughs> Thank you.